Hello, yeah, welcome back again to another tutorial. So today we're going to be doing a video using Hotrix. As we all know, Hotrix is actually a powerful ETL tool that we can use for transforming and cleaning our data. So we can use it for various kind of things. We can use it for advanced analytics and all. So but in today's video, we're going to be doing a video on how we can use it to import different Excel files from a folder dynamically into Autrix. So we are going to do this in two ways. We are first going to look at how we can import different Excel files from a folder. And again, we are also going to use how we can import different sheets from an Excel file with Autrix. So let's get right into our video. So these are the files I want to bring in into Autrix. So I want to dynamically bring in all these files into Autrix. But from what we have here, we can see the uh, related file. So let's see how we can do this with all tricks. So let me show you how each of these files looks like. So this is how one of these files looks like. So I think we have about, I think 1000 rows thereabouts inside each of this file. Let's confirm for the second one. So I think this second one we have, um, let's see, so this is not up to 50 rows of data. So let's see how we can do this with Autrix. So the first thing you need to do is you need to bring in your directory tool. So this is our directory tool. So we need to bring in the file. So let's locate where our file is. So this is the folder containing each of those files I want to dynamically bring into Autrix. So I'm going to click on the folder, which is this data, and I click OK. I'm going to be using a formula tool. But before we do that, let's run the data and see what our directory output looks like. So we can see this is what the directory output looks like. This is the full part. This is the directory. So now I want to be able to bring in each of those files. Um, so let's use the formula tool. So I would like to specify the sheets. Yeah. This is very important. Let's say we have multiple sheets. So um, then we are going to do that. So after we've done that, let's run it. So this is what it looks like, each of those files. So now that we've done that, next thing we need to do is we're going to pick the dynamic input tool. So which is uh, what we're going to use in loading each data that we have um, in each file. So let's click on the edit tab to click, bring in one of the data. So I've brought in that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to specify under the field. I click on the file parts. So this is change file um, slash table name. So I'm going to use change entire file parts, which I'm going to use. So now let's run. So now we can see from the result of the dynamic input. So let's see the results. We can see 35 records were read from, so it, you can see the location. So you can see another 35 records, just like I said earlier. So the first one was um, 1,123, while the other two were 35. So one thing you need to know about the dynamic input tool is that you must ensure like each file has the same column and the same schema. So it's actually very important when bringing your file in. So now we can see this is how we can, let's see the result of the dynamic input tool. So if you scroll down, you can see they both have the same column and the same structure. So you can see this is what we have in each of those files. So which is very easy is more or less like it's union those data together. So this is actually one way we can bring in multiple files than the same folder. 
So also, let's say we have we have a particular file that looks like this, like we have different sheets. So we can call them tabs so we can see they have different tabs. So let's say we want to bring in each of these tabs in our data. So we can do that. So let's see how we can do that. We can also do that with the dynamic input tool which we used. So, or let's say we want to exclude these first sheets whereby we want to have these in a particular separate place. So let's see how we can handle that. So the first thing you are going to do is you are going to make use of the input data. You can see earlier we use the directory tool. So let's use the input data. This is the file. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import only the list of sheet names. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm doing here is I'm bringing each of the sheet names I have in my data. So just like I told you, like each of those data you are bringing in, whenever you want to use dynamic input, you must have the same structure and everything. So let's see an example by using a dynamic input tool. We can see we brought in the sheet names over here. So we're going to use the dynamic input tool to access our data. Edit. Okay, so we've done that. So what I need to do now is I'm going to use the same option we did earlier. So just see, you can see all those files are together. So let's see what's going to look like. So this is going to give us an error. And the reason why it's going to give us an error is because the information we have in the data, they're in different structure. So let me show you what I mean by that. You can see we have like a different number of columns in the first sheet, which is this MDG country. And if you go to each of the states, they only have one column. So how can we resolve what we have here? The only way we can do that is, let's say we need just the dates, or maybe we need everything that is over here. So what we can do is, So I'll advise you to do it like this. So let's say we want to use the filter. Contains MDG country loan. So let's run it. I need to close the file. Okay, so we've run that. You can see you only have the MDJ country over here. So let's cut this. And put it after. So now we have the sheet names. So here we ensure we change it to the change file um, table name. So just like what I did. So here we can see we have um, the data for the first sheet, right? So now we're going to make use of the dynamic input tool. So we can see the rest um, of the data, which are the other tabs. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use this dynamic um, input tool to bring in the other one. So let's click on the edit table. Okay. So now let's look at here. You know, earlier we were making use of the field we select sheet names so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the modify sql query 
So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to click on hard. Then we click on replace a specific string, which whereby we are replacing the first string. This first sheet, that is, we don't want it to be um, brought out as our output. So we click on OK. Then we click on hard again. Then we pass a free to the output. So we can see the sheet names. We want to have it as the output. Then we click on OK. So we can see that as well. So let's run it. So you can see we don't we didn't really have, we didn't have any error over here because um both the other tabs they were the same structure and schema. So that's the reason why we have, they have the same number of columns. Unlike when we did that with all the tabs, like all the sheets earlier, and it's because we don't have the same number of columns all through. So now let's see the result of our data over here. So we can see the years, you can see 2020. So each of the years uh, directly in front of it, we scroll down, we can see 2021. So let's see 2022. So you can see that. So here you can access your data just like what we did here by bringing in all the dates. So you can access your data using this um, particular method. So if you have an identifier which you can use to join both data, you can do that. So this is the end of this video. I hope this tutorial was very helpful to you in showing you how you can dynamically bring in your data. If it was very helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you can catch up with any other new videos I drop on Hot Tricks. I would love to see you next time.